Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's video, we're going to be checking out some really awesome creations that were submitted for the Effects Mod Challenge. Now, if you don't know about the Effects Mod, I'm going to leave a link to a video where I go through the entire mod, and I'm also going to leave a link to the Mod Creator's YouTube channel down in the description as well, so you can go check out Ike07. Uh, they do some absolutely amazing mod work and really cool creations in Scrap Mechanic. So these creations were submitted for the effects mod challenge which is something I hosted uh, quite a few months ago so I'm really sorry about the delay I'm definitely going to be getting into these challenges more often and definitely sticking to a more concrete schedule and ideally I would love to have a scrap mechanic challenge every month so if you have any ideas for the next challenge let me know down in the comments as well and be sure to join the discord because that's where you're going to submit them get all of the information for the challenges as well and also we can discuss those challenges now you've already waited long enough for these builds so let's get right into it so this first creation looks like it's going to be very electric this is a huge power grid created by lucy digger now it says here it's a huge power grid i made it and has many effects with most of the electric components inspired by the video that moonbo made it also says if you want to hook it up to a city or town you will need to take the center logic gate of the big power box that connects to the transmission tower and hook it into whatever you're powering so this is like some type of whole system that you can actually use for wiring in like a city build so i guess uh, let's spawn in this huge power grid oh my okay it is huge now this must be a dangerous place because this fence is huge but surely there must be some type of uh, a service entrance or a gate or a door oh okay here we go right at the front let's press it all right perfect so here we go we are now inside of this place it, it might be dangerous oh Okay, we've got a giant switch here. This has got to be like the main terminal. We are going to activate this power station. There we go. Oh. The timer's going. The light's on. I'm hearing some electricity. Whoa, did you see that spark? I'm loving all of the pipe usage here. You know, it's not very often that you see these. Uh, these are like old school, uh, like wireways from long ago in Scrap Mechanic, and you don't see them too often, so it's really cool to see that. And we also got some awesome cables. Now, something that's really cool about these effects blocks is if you remove them from your logic or switch or whatever activates it, you can see it will display the block, and it also plays the effect on loop. So if you kind of want to just see really quickly a little more of the effects that are going on in a build with this mod, you can just remove them like so, and there you go. You can see that's kind of like the entire sequence. And look, you can see like the sparks shooting out from the side here. Oh man, I love that. So that was the huge power grid. What an awesome creation to start this effects mod challenge off. Such a cool usage of the electricity. So next up, it seems like we are going to be moving away from the grid and we are going to be getting into a cabin. So this was created by the Undanted Pig and I am excited to see what this is all about. All right, so we can see it's made out of wood. You know, it's like a nice wood log style cabin we've got some plants in the front here beautiful garden beds as well we got our front door let's open it up Ooh, wow isn't this just the coziest cabin you have ever seen in scrap mechanic wow look at that so this is using the fire effect from the mod and that's just absolutely perfect what a nice size fire too got a nice little dresser here and we also have a table and Okay, what's going on here? Okay, we got sparks coming out. Okay, I thought we were away from the grid here. Uh, maybe that's what the problem is. We're too far from the grid and this lamp, it looks like a lamp, is starting to short circuit. Yeah, this is just a really nice, wholesome build. Loving the fireplace and even just the sound of the crackling fire. It's actually quite relaxing as well. So yeah, definitely a really cool thing to see in this challenge. And next up, we've got a Steam Train Moonbow by Tornide. So, um, I mean, I guess maybe we might see some uh, some steam here. Uh, so we've got a seat here. We might as well just hop right into it. And, okay, no switches or anything, but I guess this must be like, a, like just a drivable vehicle. So let's just try it out. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Wait. I thought this was a steam train. Either way, the effect is really cool. You know, this is definitely giving me that 
train vibe. Maybe not necessarily steam, but it looks really cool. Now I noticed there was a switch up here on the stack. I wonder, what does this do? Oh, no connections. Now, there might be a few problems with the wheels a little bit here. Um, you know, I mean, I guess we're moving, but uh, it's, it's a little violent. So that is the steam train with suspiciously not steam looking stuff coming out of it. So this here is a nothing machine with effects mod created by Suspension Geek 365 So I'm kind of... Okay, what did I just back up into here? Okay, this is looking pretty ridiculous. This is looking interesting. Oh, I think I see what's gonna happen. Okay, this is gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so there's a button and a switch here. So maybe we'll just start by pressing the button. Okay, that just shot a spud gun. And now it's moving. Okay, I just hit one and now it's moving. So there we go. This is so cool. This is so satisfying. Look at the pattern here. It's drawing like a circle or like an ellipse of sorts as it motions through these channels. Now I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen if I go into first person and then lock the camera to the back here like this. Oh my god, look at that. So here we get a really good view of the effects mod though. You can see there's all sorts of uh, confetti and dust explosions and I guess that's kind of uh, drawing the line for us to visualize the pattern here a little bit more on the extreme end. Now, okay, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit dizzy here. So yeah, this is a really cool build. Um, not really something I was expecting to see. Um, and, and look at this, I've created a new mini game where you, uh, you basically just have to skip rope. All right, next up, we've got the Diorama Scenes effects mod created by Chaos Craft. So it says here, hello everyone, this is my submission to Mubo's effect mod building challenge. It comprises of three different mini scenes, each with accompanying effects. I should have probably built more. I ah, don't no. I sh I'm sure this is going to be plenty. It looks rather large and I'm very curious to see Oh my, what this is all about. Okay, we're already being bombarded. Okay, I conveniently came out on the side which seems to have the doors that we need. Now, I'm surprised that this is not lagging at all because it's not welded to the ground, but hey, I guess we're just gonna roll with it here. So let's go into door number one. Oh my God, what's going on in here? Okay, this is crazy. So we had the power grid, now this, um, this looks like a power grid that's gone a little awry. Oh my god, there's so many different sparks. Listen to the sounds, too. Wow. This is so crazy. We What is this? We got some crazy blowing winds in here as well. Not sure what's going on. Uh, but man, this is absolute insanity. There is so much sparking happening here. Okay, so that was door number one. I, I can't even imagine what's gonna be behind door number two. Oh, we've got some flames. Oh my god, okay, this is a raging fire. Wow, the burning blaze is so intense. Look at that, there's even trees in here. I could barely see those when we walked in. So we've got crazy flames everywhere. Now don't worry everybody, these are just special effects. I'm fine, everything is fine. So I'm really not too sure what to make of this room here, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it's just a gate to hell, who knows. Uh, and then we got door number three, now this is the final door, here we go. Ooh, okay, this is just more calm than any of the other ones. Wow, this looks crazy. This is so cool, this is a waterfall effect, oh my goodness. Look at that, I feel like we could use a little bit of this water over in the other room. But man, this is so cool. So I guess it's like shooting water up and then the water is just kind of falling back down again and it's done incrementally on different levels. So you get this really, really awesome kind of like flowing waterfall effect. Yeah, so this is just a great example of what this effects mod is capable of and some truly creative works as well. And next up for the effects mod challenge, we've got a disaster DC9 MCC created by Left Plane. So, this sounds dangerous. It says right there in the title, disaster. So I think we might be in for some rough flight ahead, but this thing is absolutely 
amazing. So it's using the effects mod for the disasters as well as I believe some explosive components as well. Uh, but the craziest feature is that you can simulate different disasters in this plane. And what I mean by that is you can come over here to this left panel on the plane and you can scroll through the different types of failures. So right now you can see this is a failure with engine one. If we go up again, you can see it's failure with engine two. And then we have engine S and then fire engine. And then there's also failed elevation. Explosive decompression, oh my! And we also have random as well, and then it clears the board. So you can scroll through these and you can pick which one you want, and then on the second row down here, you can choose the delay in which this failure will occur. And what that means is once you take off from the ground, there must be a sensor that detects that you've left the ground, and that is what initiates the timer that will delay the failure. So you can scroll up through the timer in uh, some different increments here. It seems to be a little exponential. Uh, and then you can also do a random timer as well. So I just scrolled through and counted. It seems like there are eight different failures that we can do. So I think what I'm gonna do is start off by just taking off, getting into the air with one of the failures set. And then I'll be able to just set each failure on a new plane. And we'll just show that right away. So the seat is back here in the tail, which is awesome because it gives you a full view of this plane. And look at that beautiful paint job, by the way. And ooh, that is a really awesome moon logo right there. Uh, so I've done a little bit of training. This is like intense piloting and scrap mechanic. I did a little bit of training just to make sure I didn't look like a total idiot while trying to fly this thing. So I, I learned a little bit. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get our trim all the way up just like so. And now what we're going to do is activate our forward thrust to max. And then once we do that, we're going to be in the air. Now, I almost forgot, and you might have thought I was going to forget, and I was going to forget, but I'm not going to now because we're going to set it. We're going to start with failure and engine one. And I suppose we could do a delay of 20 seconds. So we'll get up into the air, and I guess we will count to 20, and then we're going to see what happens. All right, so flaps are up. We are ready for takeoff. Here we go in three, two, one. Max out the forward thrust. We got the trim all the way up. So I think we should see the tail just rise up. Yeah, look at that. And so now that trim is just going to pull us up into the air. And I think from here we can probably just uh, put the trim back down again. Nice and slowly. There it goes. We've got our trim down. And now we should be just flying this plane. Now, okay, we can't forget though, we've got 20 seconds on the clock. And there it is, left engine failure. Oh no, I'm getting pulled into a bit of a slide here. Okay, so now I am losing altitude. The engine is actually cut. Oh, and I'm losing control. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, I didn't even get a chance to put the landing gear up before the failure happened. But here we go, we're gonna come in for a landing. I cannot have asked for a better kind of landing strip here. Let's bring the thrust down. Wheels down. And then let's just stop. Oh my goodness. Stop before the hill. Oh man, that's so cool. We just did like a safe crash landing. So that was awesome. So that was like a failed engine. So you could see we had smoke coming out. There was no fire, no flames or anything like that. And we were able to bring this plane down safely. So that was failed engine one. So we're going to move it up to failed engine two. Now, I don't know if that just means it's going to be on the right side or if it's going to be both engines. We're going to set that back to 20 seconds and I will see you in the sky. All right, we're in the air. We've got 20 seconds until we get a failed engine. We're going to just pretend like these are just, uh, you know, some uh, simulated effects here. Okay, there it is. So that's failed engine two. So that is the right engine. Oh no, we are over a tree line. I'm gonna try and pull up and through. Oh wait, no, the engine blew anyway. And we have totally crash landed. Whoa, what was that? All right, so we did both of these failed engines. Now we're gonna move to fail engine S. I'm not too sure what that means exactly. We're gonna set the timer to 30 seconds. I want just a little bit more time to get up into the air. All right, here we go. We are now cruising along. Now this is fail engine S after 30 seconds. So we're just kind of cruising along here. You know, we have, we have our flight plan. We're just gonna stick to it. Okay, there it is. It's both of them. Oh no. Okay, we've got smoke coming out of both engines. 
I think both engines have failed, which means we are now just slowly going down. I think I got to get the uh, trim up all the way here. Trim up all the way. Oh, no. Okay, yes, it's working. We got the trim up. We are just slowly coming down to the ground here. And I think we should be able to just land this very softly. So that was fail engine S. So now we're going to do fire engine one. And I think I'm just going to stick it to 20 seconds here. We're going to keep it relatively short. So that way uh, we can kind of see all of these effects quickly. All right. We are cruising along here. Again, you know, just another ordinary day flying this amazing plane. Nothing can go wrong, right? Everything's fine. Oh, no, we've got an engine out on the left side again. What is wrong with this plane? And there's a fire. Oh, no. Okay. There is a fire happening in the left engine. That is not good. We are slowly losing altitude here. I'm going to have to try and bring it in for yet another emergency landing. You know what, though? This is what we train for, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to bring it in. Nice and easy. Oh, no, we didn't get down in time. We just lost the entire engine. Wait, we're all right, though. We're coming in for the landing anyway. Over the hill. Oh, no, cut the throttle. Oh, wow. Okay, we're all right. So that was fire engine one. And then the fire engine two, I'm just going to assume is the right side, which I'm sure we can imagine what that would look like. Because uh, I'm a little more curious now. Okay, well, that fire engine S is both of them. You know what? Okay, we're going to do both just because that just seems like it's going to look really cool. Oh, wow. It didn't take long at all. That was 20 seconds. And okay, both engines are out. I was just taking off. Didn't even have time to think. Oh, we're going down. Oh, yeah, we're crashing. Oh, no. I think it's only a matter of time. Let's just hop out of here. Let's get out of here. Get as far away as possible from that fire. Oh, wait. Wait. It just is it flying on its own. Uh oh. Okay. That's not good. All right. So we've got two more left. And I think I realized what happened is I forgot to set the 20 seconds. You know, I did it. I knew I was going to do it. Uh, but that's all right because I don't think we stood much of a chance with no engines at all. So we're going to remember to do that. So we got two more. We got failed elevation and then we have the explosive decompression. I'm I'm kind of terrified of that. Uh, but let's start off with our elevator. All right, there we go. Nice smooth takeoff. We got 20 seconds. So we're actually going to move around a little bit here. Oh, there we go. Just moving along course here. I feel like we're kind of low to the ground, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, so I'm not too sure. Oh, Oh, no. My flap. Okay, I can't use my... Oh, wow, this is crazy. So I think I've lost complete control of my uh, my pitch control, which means I think I have to kind of manually fly now with these flaps. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, we're just going to be very careful. Uh, so this is a failed elevator, which means we need to probably bring this in for a landing here. All right, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. We're only using the flaps right now. I got to kill the power. Okay, bring the engine down. I... Oh, wait. What? No way. Oh, wow. That's insane. Oh, man. Okay, we did not land in time. All right, this is it. This is the final test here. This is the explosive decompression. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, there we go. We're just cruising along, you know, nice takeoff. Apparently didn't hit that tree. I'll take it. Uh, and, you know, we're expecting an explosive decompression. What's that going to look like? Oh, wow. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh, no way. We just lost a huge side of the plane there. And we have lost cabin pressure. Now, the controls feel like they're okay. Well, they're not too bad, but you can really feel the difference. Oh, my God. Okay, so we probably should cut the power down and we're gonna bring it in for an emergency landing right here oh man no we're not gonna be able to land on that hill let's go for the water we're going for a water landing here come on oh just barely made the water just barely oh man so let's take a look at the cabin damage oh man that was so cool look at that it's just total decompression and then look at all of this wow that is insane. There are so many things going on in this plane. But man, that's so cool. Look at all these explosives rigged. Oh, man. That is so cool. 
This is by far one of the coolest things I have ever seen. You know, I've made exploding planes and stuff like that before, but this just takes it to a whole other level. You get so many different simulated experiences with that like pilot control initiative as well. Such an amazing creation. And next up, we've got Godzilla 2000 created by Wolfzam. So this looks like another little diorama set here, except it is Godzilla. So let's spawn it in. We're going to drop it down uh, and let's take a look here. So we've got a town, a city, maybe. It's like a miniature city here with all sorts of buildings. And oh, look at this. We even got the military. All sorts of tiny little tanks lining the street. And then there is Godzilla. I almost said Bowser for some reason. I don't know why, but okay, so we got Godzilla. Now, okay, there's a seat here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I just walked right into it. So we got one switch. Super easy. Let's take a look here at Godzilla invading the city. Oh, man, wait. That's so cool, but it's kind of funny because I guess I, that is a laser. He's shooting his laser. The buildings are on fire, but it's kind of ironic because the buildings are on fire and the effect that's being used is water, which, you know, you put water on to fire. But man, that is so cool. There's a thruster up there, I think, or a thruster effect that's giving it that really glowing effect. There's even some flames there, too. Man, that is awesome. So again, this is just another example of really cool, creative ways of using effects. You know, like using the water cannon as a plasma cannon. All right, so we've got another train here. This is the Piston 484 number 4652, created by Cashnip Leaf. Now this train looks like it's got some crazy details and I'm really excited to see the effects mod in use. And already we can see, look at that. We got some awesome smoke coming out of the front of the train. I gotta say, this mod is so versatile. It allows for so much in-depth kind of detail work with these builds. All right, so we've got the, um, this is the conductor station here, the engineer station. So uh, I don't have any train tracks at the moment, uh, which hopefully won't be much of an issue here. And then of course, I think this would be like the uh, the tender. Uh, now, like I said, I don't, I don't have train tracks or anything in this world, but I think we should be able to at least experience these effects mods. So we're gonna start by pressing one. Oh yeah, look at that. So we've got the, uh, We've got the pistons going, and we're going to hop out here and take a closer look at this. Oh man, that looks so cool. It's really satisfying as well. And then I think there is some effects here. Look at all of the steam or like the, the blowing wind effect that's coming out from those pistons. One really cool thing that I noticed with this is when you turn the engine off, just take a look at these wheels. It's like they keep momentum, and look at that. They just keep on going until they slowly come down to a stop and I just I really love like feeling the weight in those wheels as they spin so that would be the steam whistle and that is oh that's so cool you can even see like the steam coming out of the top there and everything and then hidden behind the metal barrier here you can see that we also have some fire inside there as well and that's like a really cool little hidden detail because it was just totally covered by this metal plate right there. This is absolutely a phenomenal train, and I feel bad that I don't have any train tracks in the world to really appreciate the entire functionality of this build, but I have no doubts that this thing is absolutely amazing on the tracks because I am completely blown away by it just here on the grass. All right, so it looks like we've got another house here. Now this is the Moonbow FX build challenge created by Thomas VTE06. So it says here, if you turn the fireplace on, walk outside, there's a smoke out of the chimney and do not turn on all the stoves at the same time. You will see what happens. Okay, well that sounds like a challenge. So let's take a step inside here. We've got uh, ooh, some lights. Okay, we'll turn those on. Oh my, okay, the TV's broken. I'm gonna fix that TV. And then we also have the fireplace. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful fireplace right there as well. Nice and cozy. And then so this here, this is the uh, stove, right? So let's turn one on. Ooh, oh, it's propane. We got ourselves a propane stove. And then what do we have right here? Look at that. We have a sink. That is so cool. Such a creative thing to do uh, is just kind of have like a faucet with the water coming out. Man, that is such a cool little thing to do. Uh, now upstairs, what do we have here? Okay, we have, wow, that's a lot of crates. And there's also a sensor. 
There's a sensor here. Oh my, what? Oh my, look at that, that's so cool. It just does like a huge feather effect. And I believe that's like the breaking cotton plants in survival. So now it did say to not turn on all of these elements here, but you know what? Well, I guess they're not elements. This is a propane stove. So let's just do it anyway. We're gonna turn on all of the elements. Okay, wait, before we do that, I should probably check to take a look at the, uh, the smoke coming out of the chimney there. Oh, there it is. Look at that. So we got the smoke coming out of the chimney. Now, I think there might be a lot more smoke coming up here in a moment. So, uh, let's turn on all the burners. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got some nice flames going now. Looking good. Everything's pretty safe still. Okay, wait, what? Oh, okay. hold on. Oh, my God. I spoke too soon. I still want someone to fix that TV. Well, there you have it, guys. I have successfully burnt this house down. Um, you know, let that be a warning to you. Do not turn on all of the burners on the stove. And next up, we've got another plane. This is a P-38 Lightning created by Thunderstorm 1907. Now, it doesn't have a description here, but it does have one on the Steam Workshop. And let's just say it seems like this plane might be pretty dangerous to fly as well. So um, I guess we're just gonna have to hop into the seat here and uh, and hope everything is safe. All right, here we go. Let's try and take off in this P-38 Lightning. We're just gonna press one. There we go, we got the propellers spinning. We're gaining some speed. Is this fast enough? Okay, we're going up and over this hill. Hopefully we're gaining more speed. I'm gonna start pulling up. Pull up, pull up. Okay, we're going into the water now. That's not good. All right, attempt number two. Now I think I might know what I'm doing. We're just gonna press the boost button. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of the boost button? Okay, there we go, we are. Okay, that was really fast. We're way up in the air now. We've got this boost button. It really gives us a lot of speed. I can't even. I have a hard time kind of preparing for the amount of speed I gain here. Uh, but I think we have some cannons as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. We even see all the shells falling too. Oh man, that is awesome. Uh, and then I believe we can also drop a missile here. Now what does 4 do? Okay, 4 just dropped the missile. I think I dropped it into the water. Oh, no way. Okay, I dropped the missile into the water, but you know what? That's all right. And then I believe we also have six, which is like a delayed annihilation. Oh yeah, did I mention um, delayed annihilation, guys? That's what this plane has. Okay, hold on, we got smoke. Oh no, we got smoke and fire, and now we've got raining debris. So yeah, this is a really cool plane. It's a little difficult to fly um, because you have to use the booster to gain X amount of speed to go fast enough to keep your uh, your height. Uh, but once you get in the air, it's not too, too bad. And that delayed annihilation, I mean, they weren't lying. That was delayed annihilation. All right, so we've got a couple more creations left to check out. And this one is the trophy truck that's scared of stunts. Now this was created by Suspension Geek 365 as well. They uh, submitted another build for this challenge too. Uh, so um, I guess this is just, it's a trophy truck that's scared of stunts. Now I don't want to read the description because I don't want to give too much away, but I mean, what makes a trophy truck scared of stunts here? So I mean, we got some switches and stuff. Let's just see what these are all about. Okay, we got lights and, and fire. Whoa, when I press three, look at that. That is so cool. It just shoots fire exhaust. I don't know what stunting really looks like in a truck like this, but man, that's some cool looking suspension. Oh wow, the flames just came out on their own. I'm not even doing that. Oh wow, okay, that was a stunt. Okay, confirmed. That was definitely a stunt. Oh my God, that is so funny. Okay, that's just gonna keep on driving apparently. But yeah, if you do stunts, then, I mean, you're in for a bad time here. Let's go down into this little half pipe bowl thing here. This looks like it's just perfect for stunting, isn't it? So let's go up. We're gonna do a little bit of a wall ride here. Oh yeah, look at that. We're doing some stunting. Well, okay, was that too much stunting? You know what? Uh-oh, yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Now what about a sweet exit jump? Is that too much stunting? Look at that, nice and smooth. Oh, no way. Okay, oh, I think it was about to explode and then it turned itself off. It's like you can stunt for a moment, but if you stunt for too long, 
Like, look, see, the flames. There was flames there. That's like the perfect height. Oh my god, that's... That's playing with fire here. Now, if you've ever played in creative mode, you know that this is the stunt jumps of stunt jumps for a vehicle. But let's see. Is it stunty enough for this truck? Okay, it's really hard to drive this truck in a straight line. There we go. First jump. Ooh, not too bad. I don't think I'm going to make the second one. This is just a giant stunt jump. Oh my god. Are we even going to touch the ground? We didn't even touch the ground. Wow. Okay, that was... That was probably the best stunt yet. So that is the stunt truck that is afraid of stunts, the poor little thing, but I mean, can you blame it? It seems like it wants to explode every time it does a stunt. And for the last creation, we're gonna be taking a look at the Ice Cube Duck Maze effects created by Ike07. Now this is the creator of the mod, and it says in the description that it is best to be done at night, which I do believe we should be able to just type slash night. There we go, it is now nighttime in this creative world. So let's spawn it in here, and let's just see what this is all about. Now it says it's a maze, oh wow. Okay, let's drop it down to the ground here. Uh, and for this one, I think I'm going to want to weld it to the ground simply because I don't want all of that grass sticking through. There we go. Uh, and just look at this. Already we can see a beautiful flurry of snow coming down. This seems like a very, very magical place. Oh wow, what is this? It's like stars or something like that. Oh man, okay, so we've got an entrance here. Oh, that was cool. I love that effect so much. It's like a force field effect. And here we go. So this is like a maze or something, but oh man. This is so cool. Now these flames are blue as well. So we got some blue flames here. Oh man, that's that explosive scared me for a moment. Oh, we've got the arrow in the center. Maybe we'll get there in a moment. Oh man. Okay, yeah, that explosive is just a troll. Just a troll explosive. Oh! It's cheering for me! We found the duck! We found the ice cube duck! So that is going to be the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank everybody who submitted these really cool builds to the FX Mod Challenge. Uh, just a reminder, make sure you check out the Discord for future challenges, and let me know if you have any ideas for those down in the comments as well. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, for tuning into the video. If you did enjoy the video, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, and maybe even turn on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanics. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.